Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Going to do one cast today. It's Saturday, the 20th of July. And I am going to drift night crawlers. Got a makeshift drift rig, four pound line. Uh, I don't know what size bell weight that is, probably or a quarter ounce. And I got a number eight short shank hook. And these are big old night crawlers. I got a night crawler. There is kind of a special way I hook them. I think works best. Although you probably miss a lot of fish, which I do. As I hook them one time, about where the ring is, first first half of it, I hook them one time. Then I break him off right there. Keep the other half because there's still quite a bit there. If I am using night crawlers a lot, which I hardly ever do, I'll take, go to the fish cleaning sink and I'll wash the worms. I'll actually get all the mud and dirt out of the out of the uh, box where I just have worms, no dirt. That way I don't get it on my hands and I'll get it at the boat. Okay. So the other thing is I do is I will set the boat. Well, if I'm by myself, it doesn't make any difference. I'll point it upstream. If I'm fishing with somebody, I'll point it away from the bluff bank um, because the current will take you toward the bluff bank, so you're constantly having to kind of push yourself back in the middle. So you might as well point the boat where you're going to be turning the most to. So I'm going to go ahead and Turn the boat like I have somebody with me. I'm in the middle of the lake and I'm going to throw it directly upstream. You don't want to throw too far, but then you don't want to throw too close to the boat. I think I have too much weight on, actually. I have another rod, a four pound line, and it's got. Um, I think an eighth ounce weight. Now I got a lot of worm hanging off that hook, so and I'm not, I'm really not that good at worm fishing. I have a reputation of losing a lot of worms and not catching many fish. But I tend if I get a bite, which you got to distinguish between a bite and, and the bottom bouncing. Which takes a little getting used to, but... Basically, a fish, when he takes it, he just doesn't take it and run. He, he takes it and it's like a pull, 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 like that. When it's bouncing on the bottom, it's just a bounce, 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 like that. The snag is hit it and just pull. And they will pick it up sometimes. They will pick it up sometimes and um, spit it out. Oh, uh, that felt like a bite. Then they'll, they'll stay with it and keep eating it until they either get it off the hook or they get hooked or lose interest. Pretty much the same as a worm. That is a, that is a bite. That's a bite. It's just different. There's no way to explain it. 
They're not eating it. At all. It's like they're, see? See? I'm just gonna set the hook. When you set the hook, you just about always lose the worm, so. I don't like worm fishing. Yep. Those are all bites. They're taking it, spitting it out. It's taking it, spitting it out. Almost wish I had a, a smaller worm. I'm gonna put less on this time. If you put too little on, they won't hit it. And if I talk like I'm an authority of drift fishing, I'm not at all. I am getting a lot of bites though. Put on about half as much worm. I put on that back half, but I'm still hooking it one time and let it hang off each side. I'm probably gonna hit my buoy. That felt like a bite. Yep, that's a bite. See, I don't know when to set, the, set it. It's like fishing a plastic worm for bass. We don't know how to do that. Come the geese. That sun is intense. I'm gonna point upstream so you're not looking at the sun. See, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. And I just pulled it through a bunch of stuff. No, I just broke off. Okay. The fish are winning. Okay, this is a eighth ounce weight, less. I always like less. I really, that quarter ounce was too heavy. It could have been a three eighths, but I mean a three sixteenths. Pretty sure it's quarter. Running three units. Not running quite as much water as they were yesterday at this time. Uh, 
I'm not bumping as much as I was before. But I am on the bottom because I can feel it. Uh-oh. That felt like a snag. It went through it though. It's a nice and relaxing way to fish. But I could be drifting scuds up the trophy area. And at least hooking fish if I get a bite. Oh, oh. that was a good bite. That was a really good bite. Oh, he didn't get my worm. Oh, the line's twisting. It's one thing, if you're using a real drift rig and you're using a snap swivel, it's got a barrel swivel on it and keep your line from twisting like that. I figured out, I think I figured out the mic system. I reset the camera back to factory settings and my audio setting recognized my mic, so that's why it's working. The only other thing I, I, I remember telling people when they're drift fishing is you need to hold the rod up a little bit. I've got it a little bit above um, horizontal. That way I've got enough room I can drop the rod if I need to to give it a little bit of line. Then I have enough to set the hook too. I'd like to catch a fish, but I'm going to drift down to my mom's place, and if I hadn't caught anything, I'm going home. I've had plenty of bites, plenty of opportunities. Dwayne said he had a trip this morning and they threw stick baits. His, and he said they had a really good morning. They had two fish over 20 inches. Woo. I assume they were rainbows. And then a, a gentleman staying at the resort, they left this morning. He was fishing white jigs in the trophy area is all he said. And he had a 20 inch brown. That was the bottom. And a white bass. He had a cut a white bass up there. I am real close to mom's, but I'm gonna throw out and let it drift up just a little bit longer. See, I just barely have any worm on there.
I'm sure you, some of you guys have a lot more experience drifting bait on the bottom or night crawlers. You might chime in and give us some wisdom on the subject. But I hook the worms the same way if I'm just tight lining still water, except I shoot a little air in the worm. You use a hypodermic needle and shoot air in the worm and make it float off the bottom. Oh, that felt like a bite too. I'll leave it out there just a minute. Yeah, I'm already past mom's. Should have used power bait. Hell, he might have got my worm, so. No. It's got a little moss on it. All right. So that's drifting night crawlers. That's the way I do it. Maybe not the best way, but you get a lot of bites that way at least. See you tomorrow.